What's up, guys? Back again with my review of the fourth episode for the Fear of the Walking Dead season one, entitled Not Fade Away. Uh, all right, with this episode, it's a little bit of a time skip, not much, but it's a suppo- supposedly nine days after the army quarantines the neighborhood, turns it into a safe zone, according to Chris, is a uh, his uh, narrating at the beginning, and, and he's on the he's on the roof, and he sees the the light reflecting in the in the in the distance, so he knows there's other survivors out there. So, uh, whenever Chris tries, tries to talk to Travis about the person he thinks he sees, Travis just blows it off, you know, thinks it's nothing. He also also tries to tell Madison about it. She doesn't really think too much of it either. So, but anyways, uh. Travis tries to help a neighbor uh, into, you know, taking the military health screenings and whatnot. I guess he's kind of like the, just trying to take the lead role, helping out everybody in the little little safe zone. Uh, Liza also helping out another neighbor uh, with some morphine, morphine drip. I'm not sure what's wrong with the guy, but it's got like an IV on him and everything. And uh, uh, Ophelia... She uh, tries to start a relationship with one of the soldiers to try to get some more medicine for her ailing mother. Uh, later And later on, Travis discovers that uh, Doug has been detained. The guy that he was trying to help, uh, you know, to convince to do the military screening. He's detained by the military for breaking curfew. Uh, while Madison confirms there is a survivor outside the safe zone trying to signal for help, she sees it. And uh, with the army, you know, the army, they're refusing. They're they're telling her no. There's nobody out there. She's just seeing things. She sneaks outside the perimeter and she finds evidence of the army killing everybody outside the safe zone, even if they're not infected. Just killing everybody, basically wiping them out. And then uh, Madison tells Daniel about this, uh, Sal- uh, Salazar. And uh, he, he basically tells her about a previous experience that he had in El Salvador where they did the same kind of thing. Like they were going to take take people for medical treatment, but they were actually killing them. So, you know, <laughs> I don't know. It's going to be kind of crazy to see what happens there. Uh, the army arrives later to evacuate Griselda, Daniel's wife, to, to a military hospital outside the safe zone. They also seize Nick, despite, you know, despite his family's protest. And uh, Liza accompanies, is asked to accompany uh, and assist the medical team. Despite not wanting to leave her son, she goes with them. Because I guess the army or government or whatever had like a nurse come in and was screening everybody. And they thought they were too sick. They were taking them off to this whatever, the military uh, hospital or whatever it was outside the base. And also in this episode, Nick, (laughs) crazy ass freaking meth meth head morphine whatever you want to call it he uh he was under the bed of the person that Eliza was trying to help with the morphine drip on his IV he he was feeding the IV into him like really this guy is a junkie through and through but I kind of like him he's he's crazy he's a crazy character but very interesting but yeah that's the way the episode ends they taking Griselda off and Liza goes with them to to the military uh a hospital or whatever it is whatever you want to call it but yeah i thought it was a pretty good episode um not as action-packed you really didn't see a lot of you know any basically any walkers but like at that they're building the suspense you know you know they're gonna try to try to see the military is gonna try to keep them safe but obviously we know in the end that's not that's not gonna it's not gonna keep them safe and all hell's gonna break loose and that safe zone ain't gonna stay up very long but yeah, all in all, through and through, I thought it was maybe an eight out of a ten. Not not too bad of an episode. And I think they're building they're gonna be building to the a pretty decent season finale, which is only two episodes away. There are only six uh, six episodes in this season. And I think next year when season two comes out, it's gonna be full fledged, you know, a zombie apocalypse. There's not gonna be no military. It's gonna be kind of like the Walking Dead universe is now. So, but we'll have to wait and see how things uh you know roll out. But I think say I think it's 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 a decent filler until The Walking Dead comes back. You know I can't I, I can't deny that. But anyways, appreciate you guys checking out checking out this video, and I will be back next week for episode five. Y'all be good. Welcome to Winter.
Music.